Even as the trees of the Arnold Arboretum turn to brown, there's a hidden architecture hard at work in every plant. Plant tissues like wood and palm and bamboo have a cellular structure that makes them stiff and strong for their weight. By understanding the structural features responsible for this, we can design engineering materials inspired by nature. I'm Lorna Gibson. I'm a professor of material science and engineering at MIT. I study cellular materials, things like engineering honeycombs and foams, biomedical materials like tissue engineering scaffolds, and plant materials like wood and bamboo and cork. I develop models for the mechanical behavior of these materials and compare the results of the models with experimental test data. As an undergraduate, I studied civil engineering and structural mechanics. In graduate school, I became interested in cellular materials. They can be analyzed in the same way as civil engineering structures, but on a much smaller scale. Together in 3054X, cellular solids, structure properties and applications, we'll learn how to model the structure and mechanics of a wide range of cellular materials and learn how to apply these models in engineering design. Using these models, we'll look at applications that exploit the unique properties of cellular materials in engineering, medicine, and nature in three separate modules. We'll consider strong yet lightweight materials, such as sandwich structures in owl skulls and wind turbine blades. And foams can protect us from impacts, as for example in bicycle helmets, or protect us from extreme temperatures in spacecraft insulation. We'll see cellular solids in our own bodies and understand how we can leverage their properties to repair damaged bone and tissue. To get the most out of this subject, you'll need a background in solid mechanics and mechanical behavior of materials like that in 3032X on edX. By the end of the course, you'll understand how similarities in the structure of cellular materials gives rise to similarities in their mechanical response. You'll examine how cellular materials deform and fail and develop micromechanical models for their properties. You'll also be able to see how the models can be used to select the optimum cellular material in engineering applications and to guide the design of novel cellular materials. Join us for 3054X to explore cellular materials in engineering, in medicine, and in nature.